Like this. It's a Christmas sweater, you wear it. Oh, oh, like Merry Christmas. Oh. Awkward. Labeled inside because one is bigger than the other because you're a man. Thank you. Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas Eve to all those who celebrate. This is a video of me showing you everything that I've crocheted people for the holidays. Psych, it's actually not everything I crocheted because I still have a couple hats to make, but I need this video up by Sunday and it's currently Friday night. So we kind of got to get on the ball with the editing and all that. Anyway, I do apologize for the lighting. My ring light doesn't work. I'm pretty sure I have clips of what my yarn collection looked like before I started this whole process of making all these things. So I'll put that now. Essentially, my yarn collection is intense. I know for some people it's probably not that crazy, but listen, it's too much for me. It is way too much for me. I don't have room for it. I'm looking at it right now. It's a monstrosity of a pile. Like it's horrible. It's ter- I'll just show you. And this is after I did all the projects, but basically, for all these Christmas gifts, I challenged myself to only make things using the yarn I currently have because I have a tendency that despite having this whole pile of yarn to pick from, every time I start a new project, I go out and I get new yarn. If you're one of my friends or a family member and you didn't get a gift from me yet, which you didn't, click off this video until after you get this stuff from me. If you watch this video and you spoil the present for yourself, I'm gonna be mad at you. And that should be enough of a consequence. But yeah, I still have a couple hats I need to make for like my neighbors and just some people, okay? I'm not gonna go down the list. It's just gonna be a hat. We know what hats are, right? The first thing I made were these two hats for my roommate. That was the clip that was at the beginning of this video. One was for him, one's for his girlfriend, and they're their favorite colors. And then one side is Zach's favorite color, one side is his girlfriend's favorite color. How cute is that? Moving on to the other hats I've made. This one's for my dad. I love it. It kind of looks like vomit. See now, if my ring light was working, you'd be able to see like just how pretty this yarn is. It's actually pretty. It kind of has like a iridescent glow to it, but you wouldn't know because the lighting is terrible. But yeah, this is for my dad. I made him a hat last year and I made him a hat this year because why should we stop the traditions now? I've had this yarn sitting in my collection for a year. I actually got it so I could make a hat with it and then I just never did. But now I did. Then we have this hat, which I made for my mommy. It was actually funny because she walked in my room while I was crocheting the hat. I mean, you couldn't really tell it was a hat at the time that I was making it, but she picked up the yarn I was making it with and she was like, oh, this is really pretty. What are you making? And I was like, a scarf, but it's a hat for her. The last hat I have with me right now is this pink one. I made this for my friend basically over the summer. She asked me to teach her how to crochet and we attempted and it went okay for a little bit, but she kind of stopped and that's all right. But one of the things that she wanted to crochet for herself was a hot pink hat. And I had this, I don't know that this is necessarily a hot pink. I'm kind of, I'd say it's more of a very vibrant pink. And so I made her a hat with it. Another thing I made for this friend with the pink hat is let me preface, she really wanted to make herself a dino nugget pillow. I had yarn that looked like it could be a chicken nugget and I was like, you know what? Since she's not gonna make it for herself, I'll make it for her, I'll do it. Number one, I couldn't find a pattern for said dino nugget that I actually liked. So like they do sell some on Etsy and some pattern websites but they didn't look like what I wanted. They were either way too big or like actual like nugget size and I wanted it to be in between. And so I was like, okay, no biggie. I'll just use a regular dinosaur pattern. Well, the thing about me is I hate following patterns for like stuffies and things like that. Sorry, plushies. I'm just not good at it. I don't count when I crochet and you have to count when you make them. And so this definitely is very far from my best work. And I don't even think it looks like a dino chicken nugget at all. It is the thought that counts. It looks worse on camera. Like, 
That looks really wrong. I think it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. I will, okay, aw. I do think it's actually cute though. And it's a good try and it's funny, you know, it's something to laugh about, which we all need more laughter these days. Moving on to my other three friends from home. I made them all kind of matching gifts, but they're like unique to them and their favorite colors. They're super simple, super easy and fun to make. They're these cute little bags. I will say this one's my favorite just cause I like the colors of this one a lot. And then we have this one and then we have this one. They're just cute little, I don't know, like market bags, but also not like, I don't know. I could just picture, this is like the perfect summer bag in my opinion. It's the perfect kind of bag for when you need a bigger bag than like a regular purse, but you don't need like a big tote bag. And this is gonna be the bag that they'll go to. I've decided. Next thing, I whipped this up today and I'm really proud of this. I made this little gift card Santa bag thingy. I love these little bags and I especially love this one. It turned out like way cuter than I expected it to. This is for my boyfriend's brother and his sister-in-law, like my boyfriend's sister-in-law, because we're getting them a gift card and we're gonna put it in here. The last four items that I have for this video are pillows. Every year for my grandparents, I usually hand make them something. Cause I don't know, I feel like grandparents just value handmade gifts from their grandchildren more than store-bought gifts. And that's something I've decided. This year I made them all throw pillows for my aunt. Well, she's technically my great aunt. I made her this. It's very cute and I love it. Here's the thing about it. I intended for this to be a cat pillow because she loves cats. There was gonna be a tail and then there was gonna be ears and then there was gonna be legs and then like a face and it was gonna be so cute. I had a reference picture, I'll put it here. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Whenever I stuffed the pillow, it just, it didn't look the way I wanted it to. And so I ended up throwing out the tail, the legs and the ears that I had already made. Uh, because I didn't like how it looked and I just left it as a plain pillow. And then this is the other side. So two vibes going on. Perfect pillow. The next one I made is for my grandma. I love the color scheme. I made this to match her bed, her bedding, her comforter. And then the other two pillows I already gave to my grandparents. So I'll put pictures here. This one matches my grandma's house literally perfectly. It looks so good in her living room. And then this one, my grandparents haven't opened it yet, so they don't even know what it looks like. That is everything I crocheted for people this Christmas. I was planning on doing more and then time really just got away from me. What can I say? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I would love to do more crochet videos. I just don't know exactly what. So if you have ideas, please consider subscribing. Please do subscribe, like this video and See you in the next one. Bye.